Yep. Okay, there you go. Can you see me okay in the video? Yeah, so we've got a, a John Singer Sargent here of Money. So it's actually Money's painting from the portrait of Money. And we've done the limited palette system, uh, which you can see here, run like Paul Quee. <laughs> and it shows the, the abstract system of the flesh using Venetian red, yellow ochre, brinsia, and raw umber, black and white. There is a system there, but you can see in this purple here within the ear that that's a higher system. So what we're going to do is we're now going to glaze this really quickly and show the different effects that you can get and uh, heat up the different parts of the palette. So we know that this is the purple here. It's not Venetian used in the glaze. So I'll take my matter, which is here. I take my oil and I mix it in. You want to do this on glass because you want to see how translucent the glaze is that you're making and is it matching what's there. If we think the glaze is darker, you just add in your raw umber or you add in black to the glaze. So we take that, mix that in there, and then look, you're getting this beautiful, rich, dark look. If you think the black has taken over too much, you just bring back up your red. Look, now the red's gone higher. That's beginning to approach this. Okay. Okay, so we'll take a brush here. And so when you want to get that dark, you can do your initial test. You say, is the blood red too high? Is there more of a black inside it? I'll get a few watercolor brushes as well. there it's a really high red I'm going to quieten that down a bit look so we get our black take our red here mix that in and there's a much quieter purple see it's a much darker system here and that might be closer to what we're looking at okay then I take my brush So that is much closer to that print, but I think in reality it would be warmer because remember this is just a print of the image. So what we'll do is we'll now take our take that and you can stain in with this really quickly and heat up the whole system. Look, take that, take that there, heat up there, all around there, here. Underneath the nose, there's a little heat here. Look. Um, okay. So then I'll take the oil. There's much more oil present now. And remember, with our with our cloths, we have our, so you take your cloth. And then rub in. So this is the technique. Can you see that okay with the camera? So now I can take my cloth. Look how mm. much how quick this is here. Look, the whole system heats up. Mm. If I think it's gone too red, so now I can take the same cloth. Look. So here I rub away the glaze and I bring back that beautiful brush up. Look. Here, I want that brush up to come back. Clean it like that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that stain and I'm going to rub really small amounts of it here. And this is unifying. So I'll take that. Um, tone. Yeah, no, the tone kind of stays the same, so I'm not going to. Look, so watch how I change the whole tone of our face. Look. See? Look. I've heated up the whole area in seconds. Mm. Now we gotta get the right tone. 
to do, right? Like if you start with the wrong tone, you can leave here. It won't work for your work. And now we'll take black. And so we'll take a brush here. We'll take our oil. Take black. Okay. Get our oil a little bit down there. And now we're going to enrich our blacks. So we'll take here, brush. And this is where it gets amazing. So you drop in your black, and I'm going to put my cloth around the sack. Depending how absorbent your canvas is, is how much oil it will take you. So now you're getting this whole other layer to the beard, look, in seconds. Mm -hmm. right? And you can see, this yeah. is how messy Sargent is doing this. He's not overthinking this. Uh, now the brown goes up, so I'm going to take my red, a bit of my romber. And I mix that into the black. It's pre still predominantly black, but it's really dark. Look, now I'm going to go to the beard. You'll notice there's a little bit of heat in the beard. And this is where the subtleties of this are lost in most people. Like, I'm just like I'm crazy and obsessed. Like, I need to try to work this stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> This is purple, it's not black. So mm. as the skin comes through, it changes the black into purple. If you put the black there, it would destroy the system. Mm. It's, it's purples are in the glaze here, also in there in the ear. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'll enrich this a bit here. Air comes into the skin along the edge, it's browner. Same along the hairline here. There's a little hint of brown as it transitions into it. There's that beautiful dark here as well. Look. So we've used that brush, this brush, we'll take a look at this again, we'll go dark here, and we'll just check our, this again, that's for how dark it is, and you can see it's too oily, look, I'll see you can I work with it, but it, it might be too oily for what we want to do. Too oily as in not enough colour, or? Too much oil, oh. yeah, because then, then it won't sit. And it's just linseed oil, yeah? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Be, okay. Only linseed oil. So if you think you've put too much oil, you get your cloth and you just, you have to start again. So you just wipe away, look. I'm take the ear. I'm going to absorb all the oil off it. I'm happy with these areas. So I'm going to grab my brush. Go to a new part of my palette. Take the paint, take the bit Maybe of black. Maybe he's in his ears as opposed to just painting them. Because these are glazes. Oh, yeah. You can go look on it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that colour is definitely sitting on top of the oh, other okay. colours. So we've got the red, we've got my black. I'm not adding extra oil in. And I'm just balancing out that red to black to try and get the tone that's there. 
think that's it. So why did he use glazed beer as opposed to on the mold side? That's pretty close. Yes. Yeah. Because it's the only way you can make it glow. Oh, okay. What it's the only way you can make a dark glow. Oh, so okay. the dark glow. It's glows. with clothing, glazing, yeah. Glazing. Yeah. Okay. Who knew what it all means? And then we'll take one last brush. We'll take this one here, and we'll take yellow ochre. So we've got yellow ochre here. We take a little bit of that and mix it in with the yellow ochre. And give that a test. We'll get extra oil because it is really oily. And I'm going to mix that in with the light color. cloth and I make sure I go to a clean part of the cloth like this and once again I knock back the color so it's barely there look I do the same here with that same on the edge here for the hair look so now the hair is this lovely soft quality coming over the face like up here see mm -hmm. yeah so that gives you a general idea there's one last thing I would add would be that there. So we will take our absorb around fifty percent of that away. Leave it there. And now we're gonna close the rest off. You can even do your shadows with this, so you can drop in shadows or purples on the nose, like so if you want to increase the sensation of certain shades on the nose, you can do that. Anyway, thank you. So there you go. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.